Hey everyone, this is a custom built, custom designed airplane that I recently built because although I am definitely still not going to ruin all of my plans for my Lego city by forcing in a huge airport, I can still have aircraft around the place. And in fact, I already did have a couple of aircraft that I had done. They were just helicopters. I hadn't done any planes. So this is the first airplane that I've made in my modern building age custom you know designed from scratch and i made this instead of another car the last custom thing that i did was a car which took 10 hours to design and build with some pretty weird funky building techniques and i was definitely determined to not take 10 hours to do this here so i tried to put a little bit more in the way of constraints on this and build it more quickly but i still documented the process or at least most of the process on video i was not putting any attention into making sure the the camera had everything in frame at all times i was just focusing on the build you know giving it all of my concentration to really just see what i could come up with and i had a general idea of what shape i wanted for the canopy, for the, for the cockpit windscreen, and that's about it. I wanted to go with a six stud wide build for the main fuselage, and beyond that, I kind of wanted to have some some form of Burt Rattan inspiration in it, just because I liked Burt Rattan designs back in the, I guess, late 80s when I first started seeing some of that stuff in like Popular Science Magazine back then. But overall, yeah, just wanted to make a plane and make it unique and, you know, do something different. Try some different techniques, try some different shapes that I hadn't come up with before and maybe do something that's slightly aerodynamically feasible a little bit in some ways. And it's, it's easy to, to look at something from the outside and be like, oh, no, that obviously cannot fly, obviously, because look at the wing cord and such and such. But in reality, there have been some really really weird looking airplanes that have flown in real life and some that have been very successful that you know an armchair designer would look at and say no nah, there's no way that'll ever even get off the ground so i think that depending upon the exact construction of this thing here and how it's in universe designed and what materials it uses and what type of, of frame design it uses and everything i think that it would be possible for it to take off. It's powered by two turboprop pushers. The canards in the front do not have any control surfaces on them. Perhaps there would be some sort of minor trim involved, but for the most part, they're just there for stability. And yeah, I had a lot of fun actually making this. I, I got a little bit frantic towards the end of the build because it was taking so long. This ended up taking me just shy of seven hours so not 10 hours i succeeded at that i succeeded in not taking 10 hours to build a thing but still seven hours is a long time and i did it over the course of um mostly three main building sessions that it was split into and uh i'm, I'm actually very happy with the end result like i said I was, I was getting really frantic towards the end trying to speed up but i i was able to finish it up in a way that actually satisfies my eyes a lot more than I expected. You know, I, th I thought it was going to have to go a little bit more simple, a little bit more conventional, uh, especially towards the end as I started thinking about taking shortcuts and cutting things out. But no, it, it actually works out pretty well. So the intention here is for this to be a like a, a lightweight people mover slash cargo mover. You know, something that would be just your fairly traditional high wing design, maybe dual prop, maybe single prop design. There are tons of aircraft like this around uh, these days, just in its its overall mission. But I definitely wanted to have a weird design. And very early on, you probably saw in the, the time lapse, I, I went for the, the, the reversed, you know, the, the forward swept wings, because uh, I don't know, I just was moving pieces around and looked at that and was like yeah i'm gonna do that i put canards on the front because it just needed to happen if i were to do this again 
I wouldn't change too much, but I would probably add about, uh, I'd say about four studs of length, maybe two studs in front of the wing, two studs behind. I think that's one thing that it could use more of is just a little bit more length to make it a little bit more sleek. But overall, it's its shape, I think, is pretty decent. I also don't like this right here. You know, those gaps are just too, too open. Uh, certainly, I could just put a tile over that. That would just kind of cover everything up. Um, but I definitely needed to have some form of hinge here uh, to, to angle these rear curved pieces in to fill in some of that shape back there. It's not all that bad. But, yeah, I, mean, I think that's that's just the worst thing on here. I, I'm not 100% confident in this shape of the canopy. It's just a little bit more geometric, you know, a little bit more linear with its with its shaping. Wish it was a little bit more rounded to go with the rest of the shape of the plane, but I definitely don't have any other windscreen piece that would fit better. So I, I think I did okay there. Maybe maybe if this had some print on it or some stickers to make the edges look a little bit. Yeah, I guess the, yeah maybe if there's just a little bit more coverage to make the whole thing look a little bit smaller, the whole windscreen. I'm very happy with the shape of the wing though, the main wing. That worked out well. Happy with the shape of the nose. Happy with the techniques that I used. It did some upside down building, sideways building, more upside down building, various stuff. The engine humps on the top are attached with actually one stud each uh, just to get them to be able to, to angle in, but they're plenty secure. They're not very heavy, so they don't move around and they don't fall off easily. They're nice and, nice and flat down there. Getting some openable Doors would have been nice, but I just did not have the time, possibly not even the space for the design that I went for. And the landing gear were added just right near the end. Uh, I was originally going to just leave it, leave it alone with no gear and just say, you know, it has retracts and they're always retracted. Originally, I was thinking about doing it as a, as a seaplane, but I, I turned away from that idea fairly early on as well. But at the end, I was like, you know what? I want to be able to show this with some gear and I decided I wanted to suggest that it had retracts, so I just put a couple of, of gear door suggestions around it. That's, you know, fairly simple stuff, but I'm happy with how it looks overall. You know, it feels like the proportions, which are a little bit short, maybe a little bit wide on the, on the body, on the main fuselage, uh, are similar to Lego minifig proportions, you know? Short, wide, a little bit stubby. So I feel like this is like a, a minifig scale aircraft, a minifig scale and minifig proportioned airplane, which is perfect because that's the, that's the type of thing that I ideally want to have be very, very common around my Lego city and with the things that I build. I want the things to look very Lego-like. I don't want them to look too realistic. I want them to look like they fit with the minifigs. And, you know, to have to be a little bit fanciful as well is important. Yeah, overall, I'm just, I'm really happy with how this thing turned out. It's it's so much better. It's, it's like the last hour or two. Yeah, well, yeah, hour, hour or two that, that I was working on. is when things really came together. Just final little details that just smoothed things out and, yeah, landed, landed me in a good place. So that's just that for now. I will probably do some minor modifications to this in the future. I just kind of feel it, you know, that... As I, as I don't look at it for a while and then come back to it, I'll probably think, you know what, I'm just going to change that one thing right there. And it'll probably lead to something else. But I don't feel the need right now to change it. This is definitely more than good enough for my needs. I just need to figure out where I want to hang it from the ceiling. I mean, I might end up taking the gear off so that I don't have a suggestion that there's a an, aircraft, an airport just off screen, you know, just beyond the limits of the part of my city that's actually built, that's actually physically represented. But then again, I might leave the wheels just because they look more interesting. You know, they add some interest to the overall thing. Either way I go with it, um, I'm done for now. And I think the next thing that I'm going to work on is going to be another car. Maybe try to do multiple cars and just do them really simple. Again, to not spend 10 hours and hopefully to not even spend seven hours would be good doing the next small thing. I need to do a lot more small things to help fill up some of the space, add a little bit more life back to the city since I took out so many more non-custom things. 
But this is it for now. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. And uh, like I said, I'm going to keep working on some more custom stuff. Still bringing reviews, but custom stuff is going to be more of a focus, especially for, for a while now. We'll see where this goes. I'll talk to you again soon.